So let's start implementing our home controller. Now we will import our VPN info model class which is inside the all model. So we can say all models and it is by the name vpn underscore info dot dot. So we import the vpn info dot dot. vpn info let's give it name as vpn info and to this vpn info basically we will assign the vpn the vpn strat which is coming from the api that is when the user tab on it it will be either connected or if it is already connected then it will be disconnected so that information we have to save locally as well using hive so what i will do i will simply go back to my f references dot dot and just like we save the dark mode and light theme data similarly we can save the selected vpn details that is which country or which location vpn location the user selected to which the user wants to connect as you see in the introductory video of this course where there is a list when the user wants to see a list of vpn connections available to from which the user select any single connection to which the user wants to connect for example us vpn or vietnam vpn germany vpn connection okay the user will tap on any one of these and the user will connect to any single connection which to which the user wants to connect and make their network secure or browsing secure so that specific uh, VPN information on which the user tab that location VPN information we have to save locally as well so I write here a comment that is for saving single selected VPN details static VPN info get VPN info object VPN info dot from JSON JSON decode and we are going to decode the data box of data dot get the key name for this will be VPN and then if you do not get any result then we will simply pass an empty data just like this static set VPN info object VPN info value box of data dot put the key name is VPN value of which is JSON in code value so this is for saving single selected VPN details with the help of our of course VPN info model class for setting and getting the single selected VPN details now the next thing that we will do is that will be basically for storing or you can say saving all VPN server details that is all the available servers or you can say all the VPN networks which are available among which you will click on any single one to which you want to connect okay so we can say static list should be of type vpn info get vpn list list VPN info let's give it name as temporary VPN list so 
so what we are going to do is we are going to run a for loop a for each loop we will get one by one each VPN server or you can say each VPN from the API and we will add it to our this temporary VPN list and then we will return this list let's return this okay so to this list now we are going to add one by one the VPN server available so we can say final data VPN JSON decode box of data dot get and we will give it name VPN list if we get that then it is okay it will be assigned to data VPN otherwise if we do not get that let's say if any problem occur then in that case we will assign to it an empty list now please use these same keys okay because later you will get confused now we will run a for each loop and we can say variable data in data VPN and we will add it to a temporary list so you can say temporary list dot add VPN info dot from JSON the data that is with the help of our VPN info model class as you know that the data which is coming from the API it is in JSON format so from the JSON we convert it to normal format with the help of our this VPN info model class where we implemented dot from JSON where we get the JSON data and we assign it to the required variable so we can access it later on I hope you remember that I have explained that in details so that data we get and we add it to our this list one by one and then at the end when we get all the data VPN data then we return our that list temporary VPN list which contain the uh, VPN information about each server let me tell you again one by one we get each server data and we let's say if we have five server five VPN server available or five networks available then this for each loop will execute five times and one by one each server data we are adding to this list so for the first time it execute it add the first server info to this list then the second server information or data you can say we add to this list then for the third time it runs we add the third data and then for the fourth time it runs then we add the fourth data and then for the fifth time it runs and we add the fifth server data or info to this list and at the end after that it returns the temporary VPN list then after get VPN list we can set so you can say static set VPN list list VPN info you can give it name as value which is of course a list box of data dot put and the key name we will use the same key name which is VPN list and then the value of which is our value list and make sure that the value we have to encode that is JSON encode and then value list just like this